I'm in a cemetery, a place that I've stood many times before to lay a loved one to rest as we gather with friends and family. And I've never had somebody at the end of that day come up to me and say, today's been a good day. Because it's a hard day. It's a sad day to say goodbye to somebody that we love. But there is a day that we call good, and we call it good because somebody died and because that person was buried. Here's why. If we can take an example of this coronavirus that's going around right now. Let's say you had it, and I could take it from you. Now let's go a step further and say that if you have it, if someone could take it from you, and not just you, but others as well, and let's go even a step further and say that they could take it away from every single person on this planet who has it right now. And if that person could take away this sickness from every single person, and they would be the only one to die from this virus, the day that that person did that would be a good day. They would be celebrating in the streets as we say, wow, look what this person did. It's over. It's gone. You know, the Bible tells us in chapter 5 of Romans, it says, God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. You see, what the Bible tells us is that that's what Jesus did. He took away our death so we can have life, not just mine, not just yours, but every single person on this planet can have life because of what Jesus did, because of who he died for and in the place of. And so you and I can have life because Jesus died. And so we don't have to fear death anymore, but we can have life through him. And so as you hear on the news about the death toll rising, as you hear maybe from friends or family about somebody they loved and known by you who dies, I want to let you know that there was a good day that matters today. And it matters because he took our place and we don't have to fear death anymore. That none of these deaths None of the deaths that you hear about are permanent anymore because of the death of Jesus Christ in my place and in yours. You see, there are four things that all of us must know. And the first is that God made the world good. He made it perfect. There was no sin. There was no death. There was no pain. But the second is this, that we rebelled against God, did things our way, and as a result, earned death. But here's the good news that makes Friday good. And that is that Jesus died in my place and in yours so we can have life, which brings us to the fourth truth. And that is that anyone who trusts in Jesus Christ, his death in our place can have his life. And so these deaths do not have to be permanent because there was a man who took our place, who died in our place so we can have life. And that's what makes this Friday good.